be. Uh, doubtless on some kind of unofficial business, one would assume, of course, he's no longer the president, but he is, you know, clearly a huge international name. Um, why is he meeting Rishi Sunak? Is it a photo opportunity? What are they discussing? Is there any other areas of the agenda that they might be having a bit of a tater tate over? Uh, if we get any detail on that, we'll bring it to you here first on Talk TV. Barack Obama just a few moments ago entering Downing Street. Moving on, Rishi Sunak claims this will be Britain's bounce back year as he insists the economy has turned a corner with inflation down, wages rising and the economy growing again. This comes at it's revealed that the number of right wing MPs are touting Penny Mordaunt to take over Sunak's position after polls showed the Tories are heading for their worst defeat in the party's history. But Sunak has come out fighting, saying he'd sooner call a general election than be forced out of office. Joining me now, John Rental, chief political commentator over there at The Independent. Afternoon to you, John. I was just saying to Henry Hill a second ago, this story seems to come around on a weekly basis at the moment. It's just a case of which day we get it on. Um, is, is this latest uh, instalment of Unseat Rishi any more serious than the previous ones? Uh, no, I think it's less serious, Ian, um, because the idea that Penny Morden is somehow going to emerge without a leadership contest. I mean, that's the essential part of the plan, is that she would just be installed without uh, without a vote going to the uh, party members. Um, and that requires other candidates not to stand. Uh, at ben. It also requires, uh, to start with, half of all Tory MPs voting that they have no confidence in Rishi Sunak. That is simply not going to happen. So I've added it to my uh, my questions, to which the answer is no. I would imagine, uh, though, I mean, having said that, I know people have talked about an accelerated process of getting this done, but as you rightly say, John, I mean, the look would be terrible. Keir Starmer would be forever talking about, you know, what, another one? Uh, here comes yeah. the next leader and another unelected, blah, blah, blah. So you'd have that, but presumably those uh, right-wingers of the party who are plotting this must have thought that bit through. Well, those, those three or four right-wingers who <laughs> spend a lot of time talking to journalists about plots... I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe I talk to the wrong Conservative MPs, but the vast majority of Conservative MPs are uh, One Nation moderates who rather admire uh, Rishi Sunak, uh, and even if they don't uh, recognise what you've just said, which is it would be disastrous to try to change leader yeah. yet again, uh, and it wouldn't, do, uh, it wouldn't do them any good. Uh, Rishi Sunak's much better off uh, keeping his fingers crossed and hoping for that bounce back that he was talking about today. Yeah, I mean, he might get a little bit of a bounce back. Hypothetically, though, John, I mean, if Penny Morden were there as the leader, I know the right wing aren't particularly struck on her. I mean, it's said that the reason they were, or some were planning this contest, uh, was that once a contest is called via the conduit of Penny Morden, they can then parachute in their desired name, somebody more to the right. But regardless of all of that, if Mordaunt were running the party right now, would their election chances be greater come November time, whenever Rishi calls? No. No. I mean, people have just... I mean, yes, Penny Mordaunt, actually, her, her opinion poll ratings are quite good at the moment. I mean, this is, basic, this is essentially on the basis uh, that she um, held a sword very well during the coronation ceremony and, uh, and, and wore a very striking outfit. Um, and she also yeah. performs... Uh, quite well in the House of Commons, uh, making fun of the SNP every week. Uh, but, you know, got to remember, she she backed uh, Liz Truss in the leadership election against uh, Rishi Sunak last year. Um, she didn't uh, she didn't do very well in the leadership election herself. Um, she didn't uh, she she didn't impress. Uh, she didn't impress me. She didn't impress e enough of her colleagues. Uh, th there's just no way that this is this is going to happen, because, as I say, you've you've got to, You've first got to get to the point where half of Tory MPs are going to uh, are going to vote to get rid of uh, Rishi, and that's yeah. that's just not going to happen. Indeed, uh, and what what Rishi is up against? I mean, he's hoping for some miraculous, uh, almost messianic moment, I suppose. There in number ten, uh, something out the blue happens because uh, well, uh, Barack you, well, Obama's visiting. Yes. Well, yeah, Barack Obama's there. Maybe he's going to come <laughs> out and say, "Vote Rishi." Um, that, that might uh, that might that square help. it. <laughs> that might square it for a few people. But I, the, the problem with this game of politics, John, as you know better than most, you've done it for many years, is that perception is often greater and crueler than reality. So it's all very well, even if some of those headline 
figures do begin to genuinely change in the government's favour, unless people are feeling it, tangibly sensing it, that sort of moment when you feel not necessarily euphoric, that would be overselling it, but certainly there is a very real grabbable sense that things are on the move and they're moving up. Unless you feel that, he's toast. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he may well be toast anyway, Ian. I think that's, that's absolutely true. But, you know, there's a very big difference between a, a landslide Labour win and a, and a hung parliament. And, um, you know, if, if people do start to feel better off, which is, uh, which is the main hope, if they start to feel the benefit of this 4p in the pound a tax cut that they've had so far, which has not yet come through fully, I mean, only half of it has, and if the economy starts to, uh, starts to pick up in the summer, uh, then you can imagine uh, people feeling uh, feeling a bit different. I mean, I, I think they've had enough of the Tory party and they want to kick them out anyway. But the question is how many people can be can be uh, dragged back from uh, from voting Labour, and that's the uh, that's the big question. We don't know.